live here in Aberdeen tonight with a very enthusiastic crowd. And we're going to discuss all things Scotland. But to begin, a story that some say isn't relevant to Scotland. No, you'll often hear people say immigration is only an issue in England. And yet, when you look at the Social Attitudes Survey, you find actually people in Scotland are as worried about illegal immigration as people in England are, even if Dover is a long way away. But with 90,000 people now having crossed the English Channel in dinghies, overnight we get the news that Rishi is about to get tough. Yes, the illegal immigration bill is going to be changed to say that the Home Secretary can ignore a judgment that comes late at night from the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. We'll also hear that British judges won't be able to stop deportations unless there are really threatening circumstances. So on the face of it, Maybe we've got a bit of a solution to the cross-channel problem that is costing the country so dear. Well, bear this in mind. It'll all be dealt with case by case, uh, judged uh, by people who I don't think have the same view um, as the majority of the population. But worst of all, the government were in court yesterday against Braintree District Council. And this is over Wethersfield. It's the old military base in northern Essex that they want to use for people that are across the channel, young men. The government, in its argumentation against Braintree District Council, said unless they had sites like that, they might not be able to provide suitable accommodation in line with Article 3 and Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights. So on the same day, the government tell us they're going to get tough on ECHR, they're actually using ECHR rules under emergency powers to say that these sites must be filled. My advice is don't believe a single word that they say. But their problems are almost as nothing compared to those of the Scottish National Party. Now, to be fair, it's been a good day for Hamza Yusuf. It really has been a good day. Not a single senior official has been arrested all day. <laughs> But they are in something of a political death spiral. And when a vacuum opens up in politics, it's an opportunity for others, and clearly Labour, very keen to get many seats back in Scotland, the Conservatives fancying their chances. But ALBA, the party that was founded by Alex Salmond, clearly they must think they're in with a shout. 